So here's another example of a Zahavian signal. Uh, you probably have seen this. Uh, when you have a predator uh, that's looking at who to attack, you often will have gazelles starting to actually make themselves conspicuously visible to the predator. They come close to him and they start jumping from him. Have you ever seen this? Do you know? No. I think it's called strutting, not strutting. And can you think why that would be? No. Like, wh why are they not hiding? Why are they not making themselves uh, inconspicuous? Why, why are they drawing attention to themselves when there are 50 different gazelles that the predator could be pointing to? Why? Well, because what, it's, what, what that animal is saying is the fact that I could stand here in front of you and jump up and down and make myself this visible suggests that it's probably a lost cause for you to try to go after me. I'm super fit, right? It's a mm. costly signal of my fitness. It's an honest signal, right? The one who is not doing this behavior is the one that you should be paying attention to, oh, right? Interesting. So this is called, and so I use this principle of Zahavian signaling to explain things like conspicuous consumption, right? The reason why you buy the fancy car that the other males can't hope to purchase, it's precisely because they can't afford to match your signal. Therefore, mm. it's an honest signal. The reason why I buy a $100 million painting that a monkey could have drawn shows how wealthy I am, that I could waste a hundred million dollars. Ah, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's yeah. all just mating stuff. It's a 